This Black Expedition takes us to the Southern Ocean and to the Subantarctic Campbell Island, bringing 11 students and five primary and intermediate teachers together for a week of environmental education and leadership on board HMNZS Canterbury. My science is all about environmental DNA. Environmental DNA is any kind of DNA that microorganisms or bigger organisms leave behind in the water. And just from the water sample, we can say what kind of biodiversity was there. Going on a ship, obviously, we can tow nets, so we can take water samples. Plankton produce more than 50% of the oxygen we breathe. And we know that they are under immense pressure because of global warming. It's just really important to understand how the communities are changing, how they might be shifting within the next few years. And when young people see how we sample, it's much more exciting being on a ship and seeing how real science is done than learning it in the classroom. You see it in real life, you really get a love for it. The students were all super amazing. They were enthusiastic from day one, being really interested like, in all the different science that happens on board. It was really cool to, to have them asking and being so involved. Kia ora, my name is Greg Ilmer and I work at GNS Science. The science I've been conducting is we have taken the participants up to Pole Isle to collect peak cores which we're going to use to reconstruct the climate since the last glacial maximum, which was about 14,000 years ago. So we've got the really dark brown peak, and then when we push the cora down, we managed to collect some of the dark grey glacial sediment. You can see the contact there where the peat has started accumulating on top of that. I guess the assumption is, is this was deposited during the last glacial maximum and this peat has been deposited on top. Campbell Island is a really important place for conducting the research that I do. It is located in the core of the westerly winds and there are not many land masses that are found in this location at that latitude. This is important because we use our understanding of past climate to have a better understanding of what our climate is going to be like in the future as climate changes. I think the young people who have been taking part of this expedition are awesome. They're so enthusiastic and they're so curious and that curiosity and questions they have is going to lead them really far after they've finished their Blake expedition. It's really important to involve young people and teachers because as scientists, often the work we do is quite hidden from the public and getting teachers and young people out here, they see what we're doing and they can understand why we're doing it and how important it is and it gives them some experience of things that they would never learn about in their education system. My name is Pluto Liu. I'm a PhD student at the University of Otago, working in the Marine Science Department. The science I've been doing for this trip, looking at kelp populations. We found some beached kelp in Antarctica. The ultimate goal is we want to see if they can establish Antarctica one day. By studying the population here, we will be able to trace back where they come from. And then from that point, we can model how all the kelp travel around the Southern Ocean. The students, they have been taken part in our research a lot in this trip. They helped us to do research, but at the same time, they learn a lot of new things. They might take in new ideas and they might change their career path in the future, who knows? We know very little about Sub-Antarctica and the marine environment, and there's so much we need to do about it. And uh, that's how this trip helps the scientists and the younger generations. These students and teachers already know there's significant challenges that they're going to be facing in the future. So visiting nature reserves like Campbell Island is a fantastic way to learn and a fantastic classroom to work alongside the scientists. 